this video you will learn how to use push button with MSP 40G2 Launchpad. I will show you how to use push button to turn on LED by shifting a push button. So in this video you will also use the concept of last lecture on LED blinking in which we saw how to use GPIO pins of MSP 40G2 Launchpad as a digital output. In this lesson we will see how to use GPIO pins of MSP 40G2 Launchpad as a digital input and digital output. Now let's see how to connect push button with MSP 40G2 Launchpad. To connect push button we need to use push pull up resistor or pull down resistor to connect push button with MSP 40G2 Launchpad. Any GPIO pin can be connected with push button in this tutorial, I am using pin number 5 to connect push button and pin number 14 to connect an LED as we seen in this in last video. Now let's see how to make a circuit of push button interfacing with MSP 40G2 launchpad. Now pause the video and make a connection according to the circuit diagram. In this circuit diagram, push button 1 terminal is connected with the resistor and other terminal of resistor is connected with 3.3 volt. Same terminal of push button is connected with pin number 5 of MSP 40G2 launchpad. Other terminal of push button is connected with 0 volt or ground. So we are using push button low switches connect two points in a circuit when you press them. When the push button is open or unpressed, there is no connection between the two legs of push button so the pin is connected to VCC through the pull up resistor and reads as high or logic, logic high. When the button is closed or pressed it makes a connection between its two legs connecting the pin to ground so the pin reads as low or zero volt or ground. So when the push button is not pressed we will be getting 3.3 volt or logic high signal on pin number 5 through push pull resistor. When push button is pressed, we will be getting logic low signal on pin number 5. Also, LED is connected with pin number 15 through a current limiting resistor. If you disconnect the digital IO pin from everything, the LED may blink erratically. This is because input is floating. That is, it does not have a solid connection to vol voltage or ground and it will randomly return either high or low. That's why you need a pull up resistor in the circuit. Now let's see how the code works. In the first line, we have given a name to pin number 5 as a push button. Now instead of pin number 5, we'll be using push button through the program. Similarly, LED pin name is given to pin number 14 Another integer variable button state is declared which is used to store the state of push button. Inside the setup function we have initialized push button as an input and LED pin as an output through pin mode function. Inside the loop function we have new function digital read. Digital read function accepts one argument as a parameter which is being initialized as an input. In this example we digital read function read the state of push button and store this, its state in button state variable. Output of digital read function will be either logic high or logic low. When the button is open, we will get a logic high. When the button is closed, we will get a logic, logic low. So as you can see, we are using if else statement to determine whether the button state is high or low and then we are turning on or turning off respective LED. For example, if the button state is low, it means we have pressed, pressed the push button, so we will turn on the LED through the digital write function. And you already know about digital write function now. And else, if button state is high or when the push button is not, uh, not pressed, we will always get logic high signal, so we will turn, turn off the LED through digital write function. Now upload the code to MSP 40G2 Launchpad by clicking on Upload button. You can see as soon as I press the push button, LED turn on 
and as soon as I left the push button, LED turn off. So this is how we can use GPIO pin, pins of MSP430 G2 Launchpad as a digital input and output. GPIO pins has many applications like 7 segment display control, LCD interfacing, keypad interface, interfacing and many others. In next video, I will show you more examples of using GPIO pins of MSP430G2 Launchpad.